everyone it's your boy odin from hostop promo and in this video we're going to be going over micro webber i'm going to be giving you a demo showing you how to install it and reviewing the software and if you don't know what micro webber is it's a brand new powerful content management system drag and drop website builder that is based on the php laravel framework you can easily create websites online stores and blogs and it's really really cool and if you don't know what hostop promo is this is my website that i'm working on to find the best web hosting companies and promotions in digital ocean if you don't already know who they are they're one of the biggest web hosting companies in the world they have a 50 dollars free trial which i will leave a link down below in the description as well as the pinned comment but why digital ocean is important is because they have now created a one-click installation for mike weber so you can get started with the software right away just go ahead and click the link and then to install Micro weber on a server all you need to do once you're signed in is come here and click create click droplet and then you're gonna go ahead and click the marketplace tab right here. You're gonna select Micro Weber, okay? And now we're gonna go down and we're gonna select the smallest server. I'm gonna go ahead and select the $5 server. And then you wanna select a location. I'm gonna select the location nearest to me. However, if this is for your visitors, you may wanna select where your visitors are located, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create the server. Now that our server has been created, all we have to do is go ahead and click copy on this IP address. Go ahead and paste it into our browser and it's going to open up the installation for MicroWeber. What's really cool is right off the bat you can choose between a bunch of different templates and sites. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose the snow one. I really like this template. And then it's going to show you the login information. By default it's all going to be set. And then you can go ahead and just click install. It's going to go ahead and click it's going to go ahead and install the application it takes about a minute or two all right now that our application is installed we are in the dashboard what is really cool about the dashboard is right off the bat they have already configured analytics so you can see how many views visitors orders and comments your website has daily weekly monthly and yearly you can also see the recent purchase orders if you have an e-commerce store you can see the recent comments and also the recent messages and here's some more links just to navigate around the dashboard okay if we go to the website tab uh, this will go ahead and it will show you pages post products and categories so it has a very similar feel to WordPress because you have pages posts as well and categories and if you add something like WooCommerce you have products you can come here and we can go ahead and click uh, edit product okay and we can go into this product we can change the name to whatever we want product name whatever um, you can set the different categories right here you can add images for the product you can remove images you can set prices uh, you can set different shipping options and then there's some advanced options where you can set SEO description meta title meta keywords the OG images etc etc and you can also write content down here okay um, we're now I want to show you a few more things uh, if we go to shop if you click shop it pulls just all the products similar to what I just showed you if we click orders it's gonna show you all your e-commerce orders right here and you can also export the data to Excel which is very helpful and it also tracks abandoned carts so if somebody does not finish checkout you can still get their information and you can contact them and try to get follow up and get that sale. You can come here and you can click clients and you can see all your different customers. You can view them, you can delete them, you can see how many orders they have, where they're from. If we go to shop settings, you can check out all the different payment methods. So right off the bat with MicroWeber, you can integrate with PayPal, uh, MasterCard, Visa, Discover, Amex, Authorize.net, which is a very popular payment gateway, Stripe, Molly Payment, Vogue Pay, Payza. Um, if we come down here, there's general shop settings where you can set the default currency. Uh, you can set how many decimals you want, things like that. If we come here, there's some different shipping options. You can say what countries you'll ship to, where you won't ship to, etc., etc. You can set taxes. Uh, you can add coupons. You can create promotions. You can also send emails to clients when they get a new order. Um, they also have some other shop settings where you have to make the client agree to the terms and conditions. You can disable the online shop. Uh, you can require registration to buy something. 
Um, you can also set the shipping units like kilograms or pounds, centimeters or inches. And they also have some basic invoice settings where you can set your company address, et cetera, et cetera. If we go to my modules, um, this is basically different modules that you can use, okay? So you can create a contact form, a menu, et cetera, et cetera. If we go ahead and click contact form, uh, you can set up mail integrations. Um, this uses the Flex a Mail API and it looks like they also support Mailer Lite. okay? Uh, if we go to settings, um, here you can set the website name, the website description, the keywords, how many posts per page, the date format, the time zone. Uh, if we go to templates, you can see the different templates. Uh, you can also change the templates. Think if you're used to WordPress, think of template as a theme basically, okay? If we go to the login register setting, you can enable social login very, very easy. So right off the bat, MicroWeber can do a lot of cool stuff that WordPress does not do right out of the bat. So I think MicroWeber is pretty cool and I can see it becoming more and more popular as time goes on. And it's also a good alternative to WordPress. And I also very much like Laravel, okay? If we go to email settings, you can set your email address, the from name, and then you can set how you wanna send the emails. You can use the default PHP mail function, Gmail, SMTP server, cPanel, cPanel, or Plesk, and then you can click test mail and try it out, okay? If we go to marketplace, the marketplace is where other authors can submit their templates, which are basically themes. And as well, you can come here and you can click modules and you can find what are basically, if you were WordPress before, they're basically plugins, okay? So templates are for the design of your site and modules are to extend the functionality of your website, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and see what other settings we have. If we go to advanced settings, we have something like SEO settings, custom head tags, custom footer tags. You can create a robot.txt file. You can clear the cache, reload the database, as well as see some statistical settings, live edit settings, etc., etc. If we go to language here, this is where we can easily manage the languages for our website, which is really, really cool. And then the user section, of course, just shows the users we have. Of course, we only have one and it's an admin. You can come here, you click edit, you can edit the user, you can also add new users, and you also can have different roles, okay, which is very good because maybe you don't wanna give your editor uh, admin rights, you don't want them to have full control over their site, just to be able to edit posts and pages, you can easily, easily do that. If you click support, this will allow you to contact the MicroWeber support team, and if you click log out, uh, of course this will log out, and view website will let you view your website. The last thing I want to show you guys, which I think makes MicroWeber so, so cool, is their live edit mode. If we come up here to the top right corner and we click live edit, basically what this is, this is allows us to edit our website, but it allows us to do it on the front end in real time. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. You can see we have this testimonial from Michael Hop Hopkins, okay? So we're going to go ahead and click edit right here on Michael Hopkins and do... Uh, we're going to change his name to hello world and then we're going to go ahead and save that and then press exit and boom you can see it's saved automatically and if we like our changes we can just click save okay so that is probably the biggest and coolest feature of microweber that you can easily drag and drop edit the site on the front end live in real time so it makes it very very easy for people who don't have much coding experience or people who just like to build websites this way. So I think MicroWeber has a very, very bright future. I'm very excited to see where this project goes and I'm very happy that I even came across this website and this, so this software, MicroWeber. I didn't even know about it a couple days ago. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and make sure to check out my website, host.promo. And I will also have a link down below that will give you a $50 free trial to DigitalOcean where you can easily set MicroWeber up in one click without logging into the server or doing anything. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. Peace out.